thousands of votes just found in Wisconsin Supreme Court election. Human error is being blamed, and this surprising development coming in a race that could determine whether or not Republican Governor Scott Walker's crackdown on unions will stand. A change in the vote count just propelled the incumbent into the lead. This is a race between the conservative incumbent, Justice David Prosser, and his challenger, Joanne Kloppenberg. They had been neck and neck. In fact, Kloppenberg just declared victory this week, but this latest development now giving Prosser uh, a lead of just over 7,000 votes. Republican Scott Fitzgerald is in the Wisconsin State Senate. Uh, he is the majority leader there, and he joins us live. Uh, this is bad timing. I mean, it's with, with, a, with an issue like this, you know, you never want human error to play any kind of a role, but it just happened according to the clerk. Do you believe her? Yes, I do, Rick. Uh, the canvas process in Wisconsin is uh, pretty routine after an election happens. And in the many that I've been involved in over the years, uh, certainly there are changes to the vote totals that uh, come in on election night. I mean, do you expect now perhaps some other counties in, in your state, some clerks maybe in some Democratic-leaning counties to say, oh, you know what, we just found some votes too? Well, as a matter of fact, in Grant County already, they're uh, reporting that Kloppenberg had picked up over 100 votes. Um, yeah, the, the size and the, the number of votes in Waukesha County, I think, is shocking. But uh, certainly that the canvas turns up, uh, you know, discrepancy with election night results, that's not a surprise at all. We see that all the time. So practically speaking now, what does this mean for the law that was passed? Uh, because it still has not taken effect. There are some court challenges. Uh, how do you see it? Well, yesterday in Wisconsin, the attorney general uh, went right to the Supreme Court with the case, hoping to remove the technical, uh, the, the TRO, the restraining order, and also asked some questions of the court related uh, to the merits of the bill. So that was kind of the development on the legal front yesterday. And, you know, obviously everybody's got their eye on the state Supreme Court, thinking that uh, eventually this, uh, th these legal challenges will wind up uh, on their docket. Uh, if uh, Judge Prosser uh, it, it keeps his seat, if, if the recount battle, which we, we're now hearing that both sides are hiring attorneys, of course, uh, right. if, if he does get to stay in office and remain on the court, what does that mean for this law? Does it automatically sail through? And if he loses, if Kloppenberg ends up winning, then what? I, I wouldn't want to make any presumptions on what uh, the Supreme Court might do. But uh, certainly, I think, you know, having Justice Prosser there, I think he's been a strong voice for the law and a strong voice for Wisconsin for many, many years. And I obviously, I'm, I'm certainly hopeful that uh, the vote totals hold up for Justice Prosser. The canvas is completed. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the recounts show, and this could be a long, drawn-out process with an issue that is so divisive in your state. Uh, we'll be watching very closely, and we appreciate you coming on and talking to us about it. Uh, the, the state majority leader, Scott Fitzgerald, joining us live this morning. Thank you, sir.